Welcome to Storytime with Karen and Kevin. I'm your host, Karen Monroe. Today, we're going to be reading from the subreddit r slash today I effed up. Before we get started, we have a couple of updates. Kevin and I have gone on a world adventure. You can follow along on our Instagram. Link will be in the description. And we're almost at 300 subscribers on YouTube. When we hit that goal, we will be giving away a $20 Amazon gift card. To enter, just subscribe and leave a comment on one of our videos. And now, on to the stories. Our first story was posted by Hollows of Your Heart. Today I effed up by disappointing a man who wanted to get laid by a maid. I'm a professional house cleaner in a large city. My first house today was beautiful and pretty big, 4,000 plus square feet. I had never cleaned this house before today. It's kind of interesting to clean the home of people you have never actually met while they're not home. I never snoop, but I do learn about people just by the state of their house or whatever they leave out. These people seem like they really needed us. I would guess they are busy and don't have much time for cleaning and organizing. I love cleaning a dirty house, and I was like amping myself up, doing a mini Rocky training montage warm up, and finding the perfect music to work to. I was sweating like four hours in, but I was getting this house absolutely sparkling. All I had left were to clean the floors when a man walked in. I welcomed him home and let him know I just needed to clean the floors and would be finished soon. He looked super confused and then kind of grinned and asked if I was his birthday gift. I didn't really know what he meant. Maybe his wife scheduled the service on his birthday? I just answered with, maybe? Happy birthday, Mr. Henricks. To which he looked even more confused and told me his name was not Mr. Henricks. Well, that's because his next door neighbor, my actual client, is Mr. Hendricks. I walked my happy little butt into the wrong effing house and cleaned the heck out of it. And then the guy who lived there came home and thought I was a stripper, playing a house cleaner hired by his wife as a birthday present. I was so totally embarrassed explaining myself to this guy and my boss. The entry instructions in the app said the client wouldn't be home, but that there was a key under the mat. There was no key under the mat, but the front door was unlocked. This is not even the first time in my life that I have let myself into the wrong house. Although, the first time was not a work thing. On the plus side, dude was so happy with how clean his house was that I finished the floors and he paid me what my company would have charged him, plus a tip. OP, I hope you made a new client. I mean, that was definitely <laughs> really awkward, but also hilarious. Like, it could have been worse, but yeah, hopefully... Now he's like, I really like how clean our house is. I'm going to hire this woman. Like, maybe it was meant to be. I don't know. Our next story was posted by Hey, It's Yonder. Today I effed up by helping a drunk coworker and trusting HR. I, 29 male, work in digital marketing. Company held a party to celebrate the completion of a big project. As I was walking to my car, I noticed a drunk female coworker, mid 30s. We worked together for three years, but it's a big department and I don't know much about her. She was having difficulty walking. I offered to help and she held out her hand. I asked if she drove here. She took an Uber. I helped her call another one as she was throwing up. The Uber driver arrived, saw the condition she was in, and took off without saying a word. Understandable. I decided to drive her home. I have a dual front and rear dash cam set up. I moved the rear camera, placed it in the front, and adjusted the angle to make sure the inside of the vehicle is covered. Lifesaver. Fast forward one month to April 25th, last week, and I was called into HR. My manager was sitting with a serious expression. They asked what I did after the party. I immediately became defensive and asked what this meeting is about. The HR person said that they received a complaint from an employee accusing me of inappropriate behavior. I responded, I have no idea what you are talking about. I did nothing inappropriate during or after that party. Whoever complained has the wrong guy. They stepped out into the hallway for a couple of minutes. I started to sweat, even though I know I did nothing wrong. Thinking, I remember giving that coworker a ride home. That must be it. They step back into the office. The manager says they have a witness who saw me put a drunk coworker into my car. I said, yeah, I drove her home. Nothing happened and I did not put her in. She accepted my help. Silence. They stare at me like I'm guilty. 
nothing but suspicion and judgment. HR says they'll continue investigating and will speak to me in the following week. I received an email today telling me to make a statement for the police and that I'm suspended until the case is dismissed. I'm so mad. Really mad. I hired an attorney and submitted a statement to the police. After asking around, I learned the coworker I gave a ride to is apparently the ex-wife of my manager's golfing buddy. Yeah. Little does the company know I protected myself with dash cam footage as well as a short cell phone video of me walking her to the house. I am innocent and I will fight this. The user also posted an update on his profile. Many of you have asked for an update. Everything mentioned in my original and future post has and will be approved by my attorney throughout the duration of the case. It's been a stressful week. Attorney has been incredibly helpful. First thing we did is sit down and lay out all the known information. It took six hours, surprisingly longer than I expected, letting me know this situation is the real deal, no matter how easy of a slam dunk the case appears. The common question was, who made the complaint? It was not the coworker that I drove home. I asked her via phone call and she said, thanks so much for the help. I'm really sorry about this. They, HR manager, asked me if anything happened. I said I don't remember much other than parts of the drive and you walking me to the house. They didn't seem happy with that and kept pushing and leading me to like, answer in a way that made you look bad. But I would know if anything happened or at least have a feeling and I don't. She went on to apologize again and requested I not involve her more than is absolutely necessary as it's very embarrassing to her, which is why I recorded the call. Legal one party consent. Attorney acquired the outside security camera footage, stored for 30 to 90 days, from my workplace. Not sure how he did it, but that was awesome. Video showed me helping the drunk coworker into my car. There was a moment where, at first glance, it seemed as though I shoved her, but she was losing her balance and almost twisting an ankle while walking down the curb in high heels. Something strange about the security footage. Bottom right corner has been edited. I thought it was the original. They gave us a censored copy. The attorney did his thing and obtained the unedited version, and we learned who it was and why they were protecting them. The manager himself. He was smoking a cigarette and looking in my direction. He immediately called someone on his phone after I drove off. With the confidence of knowing she is not the one who made the complaint, security video showing me helping her into the vehicle and not forcing anything, and a manager making a phone call seconds later, along with having a dash cam plus cell phone footage of the drive, I suggested we go directly to the owner of the company. Attorney didn't like it at first, but agreed after some discussion. You may be wondering why I would ever consider talking to the owner. That's fair. I feel like with all the dirt we keep discovering, this has evolved from solely focusing on defending myself to going on the offensive. So we spoke with the owner. It wasn't easy making contact with him. The man is very busy. Mentioning how he rarely ever gets involved with these types of things, yet wisely had two company lawyers on the call. Without revealing too much, we gave him a good idea of how the case would likely play out if it went to court. He understood and said he will conduct his own investigation and further communication will be through his company lawyers. Not even 12 hours later and my attorney and I receive a long email from the company lawyers explaining everything. The manager confessed. Owner caught him in a web of lies. This is why I kept the dash cam footage a secret. Remember the phone call he made? It was to his golf buddy, ex-husband of the co-worker I helped. Yep, apparently the bitter ex-husband assumed things happen, so he wouldn't stop pressuring the manager to destroy my career. Some of you were curious why it took one month for the investigation to begin. Because my manager's good conscience only lasted one month until he caved. But the manager was not the complainant. It was a random employee who happened to be smoking next to the manager at that time. The manager somehow convinced this employee to file the report so that the manager would not be restricted by conflict of interest issues, HR related policy. He wanted to be involved at all times and steer the investigation however he wished. The complainant never really saw much. Security video showed him walking into the entrance with his head down, staring at his phone. 
There's more, but my attorney advised I hold off until the company lawyers contact us, under direction of the owner, who kinda hinted that heads will roll. This is not over. So my first, th like, initial thought is like going back to like the co-worker that he helped in the car uh, when he called her and she was like oh please don't involve me this is so embarrassing like oh my gosh you got too drunk at a party and helped you home that's like yeah it's embarrassing but it's not the end of the world you have this guy's like career on the line like help him out you know I know there's probably not much you can say because he already made your statement but like just wow okay bigger fish to fry here woman secondly I just, it's so sad that we live in this kind of world where, like, you try to do something good and you get, like, punished for it, basically. Like, I mean, what are the odds that you have a dash cam and stuff? Like, you came prepared. Like, you know that this is the world we live in. Like, I can't even imagine having to do, like, such due diligence when you're just, like, trying to do something nice for somebody. Like, I guess it is for the best because, I mean, at the end of the day, I guess the woman could have complained too, you know? So it's like, you have to like, make sure you're good on all ends. And I mean, it definitely paid off. I really hope that this uh, manager gets fired. Like he deserves, he definitely deserves to get fired. That's all for today. Thank you so much for listening. We really appreciate it. If you like what we do and you want to support us, you can become a donor on Anchor FM. You can also follow us on all of our social media accounts. They will all be linked in the description below. Thanks, and see you next time. Bye.